What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dave back at it again. Hey, this video, I'm going to label it as goals or anything. I, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to label it. But anyway, let's get to the real point. It's going to be about uh, making goals and making long-term and short-term goals to reach a point of anything in life. You know, if, if you're if you're living life without having some type of goals, you're probably living, I hate to say it, a pointless life. Because if you're not striving to do something or better yourself, whether it's finances, whether if it's jobs, whether if it's lifting, whether it's, I mean, list goes on and on and on. Goals are good for your life. You need to have long-term goals. You need to have short-term goals. And you need to have a plan where you're going to get to to these goals in life. And uh, today is an epic fail day in my goal to reach a 500-pound bench press. Um, I was uh, wanting to hit 450 for bench for one rep max. And that did not happen today. But. In the turn of me going for 450 pound bench press for one rep max, someone seen that that I have respect for and they know what they're talking about. And he just gave me a little fit bit of information that I never thought about. And I go into the story after I get 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 with you on about reaching goals. I hope somebody that watches this video can get a motivation and, 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 and really get strive. If anybody that's on the book, Instagram, YouTube, if you need anything or if you need any advice or if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm not one of these people that are going to try to sell you on something, charge you on doing this. If you want to work out with me, call me. Get, get with me. We'll make it happen. I, and, and, and if you may think that you could help me out to get that plateau of that 500 pound bench press, I'm not a person that says, hey, no, nah, I know I know everything because I don't. You constantly got to keep an open mind. If you don't have an open mind and goals, you never, you're going to stay stagnate. You're going to just stay right there. You got to think outside the box and you got to experiment with all your, your things that you can experiment and touch on everything you can touch before you know you can reach your goal or, or, or whatever it may be. So if, if that could be something that could help someone, please don't hesitate. Ask me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you guys. I mean, I do this as a hobby. And uh, that's, that's why I started this channel. I want to pass on information. I want to be helpful. And you know, if I could just touch and help one person to reach their goal, I'm satisfied because I've done what I think I'm here to do, and that's to help people, whether if it's softball, life, lifting, you know, whatever, you name it. If I, hey, I can give you my two cents, and if you don't like it, you can just throw it down, throw it over your shoulders, you know. But if you like it and it helps you, then that's great. But let's just get on with, with my story. I got, I set a goal. It's going to be hard to get, but I think that, I can get it. I have. I, I feel that I have the stuff around me to get me where I need to be. I feel that um, I'm. I think it's just a mental thing, really. If you honestly believe it, and once I tell you this, th then you, you're gonna know. The mind is a strong thing. It can overcome a lot. I mean, you can hear stories about people picking up cars when they're adrenaline so high i really think it's just a mental thing but i was at the gym i set the goal at 500 pounds by next spring meanwhile that's my big goal on bench press my small goals are i have set it up my 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 best max is 435 so i have set out a program that i got little little stepping stones that creeps me there and on pace me not hitting that 450 was you could consider it a little setback but 
I don't look at it like that. I look at it as it's something that it, it helped me build my step. Because that guy in the gym didn't have to come and tell me to try to something out. And I, hey, I was open arms about it. And after I did it, I could see where this could be very, can very help me very well get where I need to be. So um, here it was. I put 450 on. I got the video. I hadn't really looked at it, but it felt like uh, the sh the one time I did look at it, it felt really good going down in the hole. It felt good. I got good drive. Got halfway. No no pudding in the tank, guys. Just just down. So I told the guy to spot me if it looks like I'm struggling, yank it up because injuries can set you back from hitting your goals, and I don't want injuries. I want to stay healthy as best I can, and I want to hit this goal. Who who else can say, hey, I I benched 500 pounds in my life, you know? Not a whole lot of people. Not a whole lot of people can say they can bench 300 pounds, 400 pounds. And my goal is 500. And when it gets 500, it's going to be 550. When it's 550, I'm going to keep going until my body tells me, hey, I can't do it. That's just, it's my life. It's my body. I'm going to do what I want with it. So, uh... I really hope this gives you some motivation to set goals and attack it. So this guy comes over. He says, hey, look, throw 500 pounds on it. I'm going to help you out. I want you to just hold it. Lock, lock it out. Hold it for 10 seconds. You know, back in my mind, I was like, fuck it. Holding 500 pounds is going to do. I just scratched on 450. And I, and I just did a lot of warm-up sets to get up to that. So, you know, like I said, you got to be open, open-minded to see, let me see what this is. Put the 500 pounds on, I locked it out, held it, didn't get it for 10 seconds, got it for nine, and I racked it. My chest, my arms, everything was shaking. Then I dropped it down, went to 315, ripped it out six times, felt like a feather. I just didn't have no gas left in me after doing all the other reps. But with that said... I hope this can give you an example. Think outside the box. Take advice. Use it. See if it works for you. You never know. It could be a good advice. It could help you. I hope this can be some good motivational for you. And uh, until next time, let's stay strong. Let's keep hitting bombs. And I'll see you next time. Peace.